Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing. Topic number 13, Job Practice. Single V-Groove Weld, Butt Joint, Vertical Position, 2G, 8-inch Diameter, Schedule 60 Steel Pipe. Objective, to develop skill to produce quality single V-groove welds on Schedule 60 pipe in the vertical 2G position using the gas tungsten arc process for the root and hot passes and the shielded metal arc process to complete the weld. The finished pipe weld should penetrate to form a flat to 1 seconds inch root reinforcement with complete fusion into the edges of the joint. The face of the weld is composed of a series of overlapping shielded metal arc beads, combining to form a flat to slightly convex face reinforcement. Material. 8 inch diameter, Schedule 60 steel pipe. Six rings per workpiece. Electrode. 1 8 inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten. 3 seconds inch diameter E7018 and 1 8 inch diameter E7018. Filler metal, 1 8 inch diameter E70S1B. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch diameter, a nozzle, number 6. 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, pliers, and chipping hammer. Machine settings. Polarity. Direct current electrode negative straight polarity. Average setting, 90 to 95 for the root pass, 100 to 110 for the second pass. Gas flow rate, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, two to three electrode diameters. The workpiece for this exercise is the same as the one used in topic number 11 and is composed of six pipe rings forming five weld joints. The tack welds and joint edges should be thoroughly wire brushed to remove contaminants. Secure the workpiece in the 2G position. The pipe is located vertically and is fixed to prevent rotation. This pipe position simulates horizontal plate welding. Rest the end of the torch nozzle against the joint bevels and check the electrode stick out. The stick out should be adjusted to produce a 1 16th inch arc length when the nozzle is placed against the bevels. The torch is then angled in the direction of travel approximately 35 to 45 degrees. The filler metal rod is placed at the bottom of the joint, resting against the root face. The rod is then held horizontally with a 10 degree angle from the pipe surface. One quarter inch of the end should contact the joint. Start the arc one half inch behind the edge of one tack weld and establish a puddle. The filler rod should be in tight contact with the end of the tack weld to produce a good tie-in. Walk the nozzle on the bevels of the joint, keeping a 3 16 inch bead width by using a precise side-to-side -side motion. This produces even fusion into the root faces. If the arc is broken before reaching the tack weld, Remove the filler rod from the joint and carry the puddle onto the bevel before breaking. Be sure to hold the nozzle over the solidifying weld to prevent oxidation. When approaching the next tack weld, raise the filler rod angle to produce a good tie-in. Weld completely around the joint to produce a root pass which is flat to slightly concave. The root reinforcement should be from flush to 1 16th inch. 
For the second weld bead, reset the amperage for 100 to 110 amps. The torch and filler metal are positioned in a similar manner to the root bead. Because of the force of gravity, however, it may be necessary to place the filler rod slightly above the center of the root bead to produce an equal joint fill. Again, check your electrode stick out to make sure that the arc length is 1 16th inch. It may be necessary to decrease the stick out to compensate for the root deposit. Weld the second bead with the same cup walking technique used for the root pass. The side to side motion of the torch will be slightly wider on this pass to ensure fusion into both joint edges. The finished second bead should be flat to slightly concave with complete fusion into the beveled edges. The remainder of the joint will be filled with the shielded metal arc process. Readjust your machine settings. The polarity is direct current electrode positive reverse polarity. Amperage setting 85 to 110 for the 332 inch E7018 and 110 to 125 for the 1 8 inch E7018. The 3 32nd inch electrode will be used to deposit the first two passes and form a layer. The first pass of this layer is deposited along the lower joint bevel. The work angle is 5 degrees above horizontal. The travel angle is 5 to 10 degrees drag. Travel smoothly along the joint, keeping the electrode on the leading edge of the puddle. Hold as short an arc length as possible. The second pass is deposited along the upper joint bevel. The work angle is 5 degrees below horizontal. The travel angle is again 5 to 10 degrees drag. Use the same welding technique to form a layer which is flat to slightly convex. The weld bead should overlap one half of the previous pass. The remaining passes will be deposited with the 1 8 inch electrode. Reset the amperage to the proper level. The third and fourth fill passes are now deposited with the same electrode angles and technique that were used for the first two fill passes. The next layer is composed of three weld beads to completely fill the wider joint space. Deposit the first bead along the lower joint bevel in order to form a ledge for depositing the next pass. The electrode angles and technique are similar to those used for the 3 seconds inch electrode. The amount of slag and molten metal produced by the larger electrode will make puddle control more difficult. The next pass is deposited in a similar manner to the first, except that the work angle is horizontal. Now this second pass should overlap one half to two thirds of the first pass. The final pass in the layer will overlap one half to two thirds of the second, producing a flat to slightly convex layer. The pipe weld will be completed by using four weld beads to produce a layer. The electrode angles and techniques are the same as before. On the outside weld beads of the layer, be certain to melt 1 16th inch of the beveled edge to ensure the proper fusion. The finished weld should be flat to slightly convex with a face reinforcement that should not exceed 1 8th inch. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.